whenever i do the presentations i always try to present the data in a different way more unique way so that the user can understand it and it does not look boring presentations to the audience so uh, in this case also i have tried to present the information in a different way uh, i can just do a simple uh, uh, text uh, on a slide and that will be also okay but that will not give that effect or the impact on the audience so here i have made this particular slide uh, you can see here i have just made a, a blur background when i click it, the first option will show from the top uh, it's kind of a hanging effect where i have just put uh, the icon and the title and you can add some detail effect and moreover i have just added a shadow effect so that it looks like it's really it's hanging uh, from the ceiling or uh, then let me just show you the second option i have just tilted towards the the right side and then i have just tilted towards the left side so instead of just making a normal presentations or normal slides always try to make something new make something unique so that the people will always uh, think that you are different so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and right mouse click go to format background to change the uh, the background of the slide i'm just going to select the picture or texture fill and here you got a, a texture option just select the texture option i'm going to select oak and you can just go to effects and you can see there are some artistic effects here and these artistic effects i can maybe select which is uh, this one the blur effect okay so i'm just going to close this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle and i'm going to draw a rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline you make it a white color right mouse click go to format shape and line you can increase the width so how much width you need you can just increase it and the background color i'm just going to select uh, some dark colors so you can see here this is my first text uh, i'm going to add it here this is the first shape then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select from the flowchart this particular option which is the flowchart terminator and I'm just going to make a small terminator the, for the hanging purpose. Give it a black color and shape outline. Make it no outline. Let me just zoom in a little bit and just put it here so that it's hanging. Is a clip or something like that. So I'm just going to put one more here. All right. And then I'm going to insert shapes. I will just select the line and draw the line. Let me just zoom it on top of this and hold the shift key to get the straight line. And this line also, I'll just make it white color. And if you want, you can just increase the uh, width. And I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl D and add it here. So you can see uh, our design is almost ready and I'm just going to add the shadow effect. Shadow effect is very important here. I'm going to just select this particular shape, rectangle shape, control D to duplicate it. Shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to make it a black color and increase the transparency effect a little bit and then go to effects, soft adjust and increase the size. So we got more blur effect and just put it here and just say send to back. So you can see here it's kind of it's like a hanging now. Now the next thing is I'm just going to add the some icons and the text to add the icons you go to insert icons and select any icon you like to insert here. For example let me just select this insert and I'm going to give a white color to it and just put it here at the center 
go to insert text box and type your title here again make it white color and choose any font maybe in this case let me just choose Vardana and I'm going to reduce the font size make it bold and place it in the center and then I'm just going to add some detailed text for that let me just go to insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets so it will give me some latin text so this text font color i'm just going to give it light gray color reduce the size maybe you can justify it so you can see here one option is ready so i'm just going to select all by holding the shift key uh, sorry the mouse key the left and just selecting all and press ctrl g to group it so you can see it has become one group and press ctrl d i'm just going to put this side maybe somewhat up and then i'm just going to press ctrl d again and i'm going to add one more somewhere here and this one i'm just going to give some rotation effect for that go to 3d rotations presets and i'm going to select this one which is perspective right so you can see it still towards right and this one let me just first of all increase the size of the the thread just make it somewhat up hold the shift key so you can see here now i'm just going to select this go to effects 3d rotation and i'm just say that perspective left so you can see here one is right one is left and then i'm just going to select the shadow effect press ctrl d one should come here i'll just reduce the size a little bit and for this also you can just change the preset to like this also so it gives and then format send to back all right and then for this also control d and then you can reduce the size a little bit and just put it here it's just say send to back so you can see here our design is ready and it's time to give some small animation to it so before adding any animations you can just simply go and uh, remove these icons and put your own icons and group it again okay so to give the animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm just going to select this one i will just say fly in fly in i will just say from top okay double click and increase the bounce effect maybe i'll just put 20.26 seconds just say okay so it comes something like this and i'm going to select this animation painter i will just select the shadow also the shadow also should come together so for that i'll just say with previous so if i play you can see here it comes together then i'm just going to select this animation painter click on this and then this animation effect for the shadow then i will just select this animation painter for this option and the last is the shadow so if i play you can see here so simple isn't it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye